We begin tonight with a delay in the start of the new school year for hundreds of Glen Cove High School students, all because of Ida. Yeah, that storm damaged the building so bad that the start of school has to be pushed back. So News 12's Amy McGorry is live in Glen Cove for us tonight to tell us how long the kids are going to have to wait to get into class and what this means for the rest of their school year. Amy. Yeah, you know, the first day of school is stressful enough. Now add this to it while Long Islanders deal with Ida's aftermath. Now Glen Cove High School students have to deal with Ida's effect on their school year. The storm that wreaked havoc this week now wreaking havoc on the school year at Glen Cove High School, delaying the opening by a week. A parent of a student shared her concerns. I'm feeling a little bad because he's worried, but I'm feeling good. He's okay in home. Yes, because it's not good there. Yeah, for water and a lot of stuff there. Gloria Mendez's son was nervous about entering his first year at Glen Cove High School this week. He can't sleep in the night because he's nervous because it's a uh, night grade. So it's, you know, changed the school. But with a night sleep, and next day, not class. So <laughs> now he's going to have to do it all over again. Yes. <laughs> in a statement to News 12, Glen Cove School District said, quote, Glen Cove High School experienced extensive damage from Wednesday night storm and will be closed for repairs until the conditions are safe for students to return to the building. Our director of facilities and the entire custodial and maintenance crew are working tirelessly to ensure the school is back up and running by next week. As we previously communicated to our high school students and their families, we are looking forward to welcoming our high school students back on Thursday, September 9th. Students are expected to be in school a certain amount of days throughout the year. So now parents are concerned, where will these days be made up? And will they be during the holiday season? I'm worried because I don't want in Christmas or in a special day. So, Amy, any word on what type of damage is in the building? Well, Ian, you know, the school's not confirming the type of damage, but that parent did tell me that there was flooding and something about a downed tree causing some uh, damage to that property. Again, the school did not confirm that with us. And the parent did bring up, though, that she still doesn't know when they're going to make up those days that they've missed. That's the latest here in Glen Cove. Amy McGorry.